Chaka and Shavaz is going to be next. So Ooh. that should be interesting. Chaka, a former roommate of mine, just mm-hmm. they just moved to Calgary last month. So unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunate to see uh, to see them go. But uh, uh, now I get to see this Sheik in action yet again. I was going to say you Shavaz, probably. Is Shavaz from Mexico? I believe so. Yeah, Shavaz. On a run themselves, that's for sure. Definitely on a run. They came in as the 34th seed. Yeah, Monterey, Mexico is Shavaz. Sheik Fox. All right, interesting. I know that Chaka has been paying a lot of attention to this matchup in uh, recent history. Um, focusing quite hard on uh, making some adjustments to uh, figure it out. Traditionally, pretty tough matchup for Sheik. Mm-hmm. 100%. Fox's pull off so effective and also just so fast. Just not really giving Sheik a lot of options to approach. She usually has to whiff or just like really reach a lot of times. Ooh, this shine spike sending her off stage right there. Yeah. Daka, they're definitely gonna have to claw back pretty quick. And Shavaz, I mean, this is how you want to play the matchup. Get Sheik to commit. Get Sheik to throw out dash attacks and aerials. But Chaka, you're not having it. Ooh, what? very awkward angle right there. It seemed kind of gutsy, but it put Chaka in an interesting spot where it was difficult to choose a move to stop that. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta get to stage. Once you get to stage, I mean, you're, you, it's okay to take the hit. In some cases, it works out for you. There we go. Finds that tech with the back air. Yep. Ooh, utilizing the platform to trick up Chaka just a little bit. Run up shield to disrupt the spacing. Oh, I like the option that Shabazz was trying to go there, but it does not wow. matter. Just like the eye behind Sheik and then the back air to clean it up. Or sorry, the uh, down smash to clean it up. Mm -hmm. See, that is going to be the stock for Chaka, though. So, full stock lead. What are you thinking right now? What am I thinking? I'm thinking, uh, you know, Chaka is pretty good at uh, the, the gimps near the edge of the stage. I think uh, that's like the easy ticket. If Chaka doesn't want to uh, super outplay Shavaz on stage with combo game and tech chasing, um, I think it is still a good play. You know, sit by the corner. Uh, when you're in the corner, make that reversal with forward air or forward throw back. 100%. Oh, the shield gun. drop back air to set up an edge guard. Yeah, it was a oh, strong hit go. as well. And just like that, wow. Chaka evens it up. And there we go. Chaka did not even have to take the easy way out with a little gimp. That was a, that was a full stock right there. Yep, well earned. Question is, can they keep it going? Shabazz applying a lot of pressure. The needles miss. Chaka looking for that grab. Not yeah, able to get it just uh, yet. Yeah, there's definitely that low percent where the fox is very difficult to hit with an aerial or something unless you space it and uh, walk away. It's not going to lead into much unless, as you say, unless it's a grab. So you're just kind of poking away with uh, straight hits and needles uh, until you can actually start something. Yeah, it's like Shabazz, you know, they're going to be holding on 100%. They're not trying to get grabbed or anything. Oh, oh wow, very interesting. I think that was that may have been a tech flub. But Imagine. It, worked out. <laughs> it worked in his favor. I mean, I like the yeah. keep away because you notice that Chaka, they're trying to get whatever hit necessary. They bracked up 29%, but again, it's just it's not much. Usually yeah. they have they usually it leads into Shavaz's favor. 29%, this is enough for forward tilt to knock down, so this is a way more comfortable percent for the Sheik. But uh, unfortunately, uh, Chaka lost full stock in that process. Yeah, there gotta get him out. Uh, the grab. Yeah, gotta get it outside of crouch cancel percent. That's one way to do it. 82%. There we Strong go. Hit. Great job boxing out uh, Shavaz right there. Oh, wow, what a Riddick. grab. That was so, so, so slick from Chaka. Not able to convert much off of it. Down tilt into the forward air. Forward tilt, yes. There we go. Okay. Not that bad, not that bad. 54%, this is very doable for Chaka. You have a full stack of needles on deck, so you can rack up some percent if you get all the hits. Absolutely. Yeah, but you know Shabazz, he's not gonna let it happen. No, Shabazz is doing a great, great job of just kind of weaving outside of Sheik's, Sheik's threatening zone. Oh. Yeah, 11%. Oh, there goes the full stack of needles. Yeah, just holding center. That's the main thing. Holding center on lots of full hops. And there's the up smash. And that's game one. That is game one. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. Not too shabby at all. 
So Chaka is one of those sheiks that uh, does not like dream, uh, Fountain of Dreams that much and has uh, loves Yoshi's story. So like, I don't know, maybe okay. that's not going to be uh, their first counter pick, but we, I won't be surprised to see it. Yeah, well, we shall so, yeah, see. Battlefield, a um, far more classic uh, choice in this matchup. Uh, Sheik's love this stage, you know? Mm -hmm. Yep, gets to navigate around. Oh, what wow. power shields the laser! <laughs> oh my goodness, and gets it up throw tech chase. Man, don't see that every day. Back in neutral. Oh, what oh, good pressure wow. from Shiva. I love Was. that. Wave shine in the air into jab. Yeah, Ooh, still no landing oh, Chaka from Chaka, the reversal, ledge. and that's gonna be it. Wow, that's a that's an unfortunate back from from Shabazz because they did everything right. It's just they got snatched at the last second with the ledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was playing super well. Started that uh, started that stock off very strong. Oh, very nice. Chaka just kind of with the delayed of B so that uh, they can grab the ledge after the regular getup. Oh, a small blood dash pull up there. I don't think a gap attack is oh, intended for Chaka. Oh, oh misses my. the up air and Chaka gets back. Yeah, both a little letter, lowercase on the red guards right now. Strong back air from Shabazz. It's enough. Oh, yeah. Roll from ledge. So, again, 28%. This is a far more, this is a comfortable percent for Sheik where the forward tilt can knock down and lead into quite a bit. Yeah, oh, I love the slow. Dash attack. I love the slow walk from Chaka. Instead of dash dancing around, trying to get in, using a timing mix up with the walk. You know about J-Mook doing it a lot. You're seeing the influence happening on other Sheiks. The famous J-Walk technique. Yes. Cool. Ooh, I kind of like that. That was an excellent descending net in the nair. It was a weight one as well. Ooh. Dash attack that leads to a platform tech chase. Yeah, wow, Chaka oh, just wow. waiting out that roll. That was so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get sweet spot up smash, securing it. And Chaka, first lead they've had. Yeah, absolutely. Now Chaka can sit comfortably, just wait for the right opening. Doesn't have to and, force and, here's, and here's the tech chases you were talking about. Drops it there, but look at the percent. Oh, oh. goes for it. Oh. What? Oh my gosh, we just saw both uh, players mess up, uh, uh, but it works out in Chaka's favor. Uh, the spaghetti spilled all over the place, but Chaka was able to pick up their spaghetti just enough and able to finish their food. Well, somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. It worked in their favor, and this is a, a big lead right now. Oh, Shabazz. Big. Ooh, Chaka just poking there with the, uh, the oh. extended back airs. Oh, these up air chain. A Jeez. forward smash. Taking a page out of Tafikins there. Oh, with a roll from ledge, that's, I think, the first one we've seen. Yeah, Chaka looks comfortable now, especially with this lead. They seem comfortable. They're getting all the, the grab openings. It's like, it's those juicy hits, where it oh, feels like that you, yeah. you you get a hit, and it can combo on anything. I'm just sensing it right now, and Chaka's play and movement. Absolutely. And there it is. Chaka is very deliberate with move choices. Um, mm -hmm. So you know that Chaka's not going to be going for... Uh, meek options that might not lead to much, that might not net them very much. Um, they're definitely, they definitely love to play kind of by the book, where they have they have kind of a set play going on, where they they know what the options they're going for, uh, and they can really maximize that in neutral because they know very specifically what they're looking for. Oh, one hundred percent. Not an upset. One one. Would you expect FD? Yes, we do. I would. Yes, absolutely. Spacey versus Sheik. Classic counter pick. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Fox full hop is just gonna become insanely good. It's so hard for Sheik to recover here. Look at the damage that Shabazz has racked on. 80% in the span of 15 seconds. Possibly the stock. Oh wow. Chaka lands behind the Fox there. That was kind of not much space to do that, but it messed up Shabazz just a little bit. Wow, that was that was a clean stock. That's the best thing you could have asked for if you're Shabazz. 30 seconds in, you have not taken a hit. Absolutely. I love Fox's up smash for edge guarding Sheik. It, it makes it makes it feel pretty hopeless for the Sheik. You land there and you're vulnerable and up smash. You, there's there's no problem detecting that. Yeah, it's just especially at that percentage, it's just it, it's like it's a sure thing. As they would say, it's a sure thing. It's a sure thing, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, that. Okay. So Ooh. what Chaka's been trying to do? I've seen it multiple times. They've tried going to four tilt the Firefox recovery. But Shabazz has always recovered to ledge. I have not seen them recover high once, but as I say that, reverse forward air coming up from Chaka to even the game. 
Yeah, not a bad answer after that crazy fr uh, crazy first stock opening by Shavaz. Yeah, Ooh, but into uh -oh. the up there, not quite gonna kill, but it's very scary here. Yeah, back air. Not enough to kill just yet. Oh, grabs oh, a ledge wow. early. A he roll or a regular getup would have been the stock. He could have probably he looking actually, for a shine turnaround right there. He could have actually just held the ledge. She wasn't didn't have enough drift to land. That's mm -hmm. so big. You can see how much how can it take this four throw? Misses with the needle, Ooh. and again, we're just recovering straight to ledge. That's something Chaka's yeah. not aware of yet. Oh, into the runoff double jump board air. Not too bad. I love the runoff double jump um, for combo. You just dodge completely all your jump squads, which is a little bit quicker to get there. Oh, full hop's coming out right now for Chaka. Oh, catches the them going in. Double hit of up tilt. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Gosh, forward air into can the they finish? Yes, they can. Oh my god. That was so clean from Chaka right now. It doesn't matter if you lost that stock there. That that, no. that stock was well spent. That was yeah. a well-earned stock. It got its mileage. Absolutely. That was all some extra credit, and it paid off huge. Oh, some yeah. good smash DI there on the shine to get sent behind on the next one. Yeah, definitely. Shabazz be... was not able to react to that. It's very difficult to react to what side uh, they're going to be on the shine. But, uh, yeah, it paid off. Yeah, it prevents it from eating more percent. If you're Chaka, well, I was going to say, don't get too fishy with it, but I, as I say that, they get fishy with a grab there. Shavaz. Looking like they're trying to even the stocks up. Good laser play going in. Holding center quite well. Oh, gets Chaka to whiff, but... I not get it just yet, and wow! Spot dodge. So this is great for Shavaz. Nice 0%, 0% last stock on FD. Um, probably looking for a similar stock to uh, that first one we saw. Yeah, if I'm Chaka, you gotta start grabbing. I feel like that's exactly what Shavaz wants, just waiting to whiff punish the grab, and then just convert as much as you can off of it. But he gets oh, it this time, it. let's see. Oh, I don't know. Not misses much. the dash there, I think. Other than that, yeah. I was just expecting the uh, tech in place. You notice that it's always, it's always been either one or two tech chases, and that's it? Nothing more? Yeah. Um... I think uh, Chaka is very good at that one or two tech chases, but... Uh, oh, gets three this time, though. Oh, there Make we go. Get four. Back throw. I don't think I was intentional. So tense. It is. Oh, boy. Jumps up very high with that Nair. That was so scary. If that doesn't oh, hit, you're put in such a bad spot. <gasps> uh, I was going to say, what an air to No, that back air looked like it was going to hit. And it's the first time Shabazz has recovered straight oh, ahead. Oh, game! Wow, Up smash! That's that it. is a game! Beautiful. Dash attack, forward tilt, up smash. Wow. On FD nonetheless. That was, uh, that's a huge win right there. That was, it looked like, it looked like Chaka was dead to rights on multiple occasions, but the clutch recovery, you saw a, you saw an air dodge recovery, the mix up, instead of doing the up B recovery to get back, they do an air dodge this time and it caught Shavaz off guard. We're going to story for game four. So immediately starts a tech chase, misses the tech chase, but it turns into an edge guard. Oh my goodness. The oh, the crouch cancel into down smash to uh, send Fox back off stage and clean up the stock. That's a very clean stock and a massive lead, especially in game four. Shabazz now on the back foot. I love that. Uh, I love that option versus Fox recovery against uh, Fox's up B. You can just crouch cancel it and up to a pretty high percent because it's not very strong, and then just choose any and move pretty much. Yeah. Oh man, Ooh. misses the sweet spot there. Is Chaka? How much can Shabazz get off of it? Eighty percent. Can they grab the ledge? They shine. Gets a little bit fancy with the uh, with the wall jump back air, but Shabazz was uh, not gonna fall for it, and then just goes in. Yeah, oh, gets caught jumping there, and just like that, Chaka, just a step ahead at the moment. Oh, Chaka doing doing the wait by ledge grab. Didn't work out for the grab, but uh, it would have paid off. You think they're feeling it a bit? I think they're feeling it. I think uh, Chaka's definitely oh. gotten comfortable over the course of this uh, this game. After, after that game one, kind of found their footing, uh, and in that game two, clutched it out. So, ooh, does the, that, does the wall jump back here again? This time it actually does. Oh, caught the jump, caught the jump. Let's see. Drill, up throw, up there. Nice. Oh, that was a great conversion. That was well done. There's not really much, because that that's hard to hit. Because I don't think that, for, if you uppered instead of the drill, I don't think it would have killed. So good job, breaking up the extra percent if you're, for Shavaz to eventually get it. 
Mm-hmm, exactly. Chaka's probably probably Chaka's only oh. way of getting out of that was a uh, smash DI in that drill. Oh, there's a weak... Randall opportunity. Jeez. Randall got into the way a little bit there and mm -hmm. second probably made life. it a little bit more scary for Chaka to try and go for that uh finishing off the kill. Yeah, oh, but the needle again. to Ooh, almost worked out. Shivaz barely makes it back there. Yeah, their needles have gotten a lot more precise as we speak. Shabazz playing quite cautious, gets a grab, up throw up air, the simple stuff. Oh, it just barely whiffs that up air, and it turns into a chic forward air. Yeah, Ooh, nice wow. tech from Shabazz. A little Chaka frantic, timing right? Sorry, Chaka timing that regular get up to dodge the forward smash, it was pretty nice. Both, both players seem quite nervous right now. You see how slow they're moving and how cautious their tech skill is. Yeah, this next stock is huge. Okay, the Nair's not gonna quite kill. I was gonna say Ooh. what the I, I was gonna say what the I from Shavaz does live all the way until 159 until finally losing their stock on Yoshi's. Yeah, so Chaka is probably gonna play nice and patiently here, just trying just trying to tag on percent, but it doesn't work out. Zero zero yet again. These guys uh are playing very closely. It's neck and neck. Small lasers coming out from Shavaz. A little more. That's the adjustment. First time I think we patient. I think it's the first time we've seen the lasers come out. Yeah, Shavaz just happy to tack on that percent without risking much. Yeah, now you know that nice juicy percent where edge guards can be set up. Yeah, I was gonna say confirmed. you notice that you notice that it hasn't really been off of any combo or confirms. It's just been sheer lasers and just wins in neutral. Mm -hmm. But a back, oh, throw, the back hang throw on. Oh no, multiple hits of oh. down smash into a forward air. Oh, the up oh air into goodness. a tech chase. More up airs. What in the world? Oh my gosh, all of a sudden it is an even game after Shavaz put in so much work to uh, take on percent and gain the lead. I don't think that's what Chaka won with the tournament winner. Ooh. And we're going to game five. Game five. That was incredible <sighs> game four. Shavaz, almost, it almost slipped through Shavaz's fingers. I was getting very scared for Shabazz because Chaka was about to put them on Twitter with what they were doing there. It was just, Absolutely. it kept going and going and going. It's like, oh my goodness. Oh my like... goodness. And that's, that's, <laughs> that, that's that Chaka on Yoshi's story that I was talking about, where Chaka was probably smiling ear to ear when uh, Shabazz picked Yoshi's story there. <laughs> They're like, yes, yes come yes. to story. <laughs> Come to my evil plan. But you mentioned how Ch Chaka does not like Founder, doesn't really go to Found much. We're actually yes. seeing it here. We are, which is a surprise to me. But uh, I do I do think it's a good choice. I think Sheik is great on this stage. Yeah, I, I mean, you got... Oh, sorry. I was going to say, I think that um, the main reason Chaka doesn't like this stage so much is because they love their set play. And the platforms have to like, create a little bit of a, more opportunity for improvis improvisation and uh, just things that normally don't really work on other stages. It's hard to practice specific platform heights and whatnot. It's more about just kind of knowledge of what your hitbox is. So would you say it's a more rigid type of style is what Chaka likes to play here? Yeah, absolutely. Um, definitely their strength. Yeah, up throw gets nothing out of it. That's a big deal. Oh my goodness. And a massive lead. I mean, I consider this a big lead, especially in a game five right now. Chaka, Absolutely. if you're Chaka, start attacking on extra gravy. How much can you get? 27%. Trades are worth it. For sure. Shavaz, not going to oh. approach the Sheik in the corner. Knows better than that. The Founder Dreams messing with Chaka just a bit there. They tried rolling to center, and the platform came up and kept them there. Oh! And, th and that's the adjustment. So you notice how Chaka has always tried to foretell or down smash that mm -hmm. Firefox to ledge. They tried yeah, it, again. Like they it again. Yeah, they've been trying to call straight ahead almost the entire set, but that is the first time that Shavaz has done it straight ahead, but it was a very low Firefox to where the foretell wouldn't be able to hit. Yet again, even stock. Shavaz loving this top platform right now, just doesn't want to overcommit to anything. Yeah, old crouch cancel coming into play. Down throw. Doesn't DI to platform. Do they do it this time? No. Dash attack. That's enough. Wow, that'll do it. So this is huge for Chaka. Probably feeling very comfortable with a full stock lead. Yeah, just tack on as much percent as you can. Oh, the shine using as intended, but doesn't matter. Lasers coming into play, but not hitting. Yeah. They're not. They're not hitting though. 
That's the other problem. Drops and it's, it's such a short stage too. You don't have a, that much room for lasers. If you uh, overcommit to like full hop lasers or something like Shavaz has been doing a little bit, uh, it's pretty easy for Sheik to run in with a dash attack or a grab on your landing. Mm -hmm. Sweet dashing back is Chaka trying to anti-air them with whatever full hop Shavaz has out. Forward air, oh, skip that reversal. Forward air. And wow, that's the set. that'll clean it up. Great job to Shaka. That was super exciting, that mm -hmm. whole set. It was back and forth the whole time. Um, but Chaka inched out the lead at the beginning of that game and uh, just kept it going. Yeah, just a small overcommitment by Shavaz at the end. It mm -hmm. seemed like you felt the, like the tension kind of Absolutely. mounting up, mounting up, especially as the games got close. It seemed like their movement got more cautious. The nerves start kicking in, and mm -hmm. sometimes one overcommitment can just lead to your death. And look what happened to Shavaz. Yeah, it was 41. so sad to see that after Shavaz was playing so patiently and so crispy, respecting space for so long during that entire set, and then maybe just one brief moment of, okay, I need to, I need to make a play, mm -hmm. I need to make a play. Um, but great job on Chaka for that counter hit off stage there. Um, and they will be going on to what, what stage of what stage was that? I believe that is Chaka goes on to the losers quarterfinals which is the qualifier to get into top eight so Ooh, boy. They, they are one win away from making it to the final That's bracket awesome. chuck has been going on quite the losers run too in not even in top 32 but in pools it was chaka versus duck robin which kind of sucks because it's two top players from alberta <laughs> playing against each other before top 32 bit of a team kill going on there uh, but chaka made quite a losers run all the way from losers round run that's one two three four five sets in a row after shavaz now up to shavaz yeah shout out to shavaz great run there from the mexican fox mexico mm -hmm. just a great scene all around i mean they have some killers super quack eddie mexico meds morito uh, Z Z uh, zamorita uh pantera i mean they they are just they are deep i mean watch out for mexico if anyone's watching they are quite good at melee 